Hi guys, it's me Lane. It is Monday, the 12th of January 2015, and I wanted to come to you guys real quick with a um, video. I wanted to make this back at the beginning of the month, but I never got around to it, and um, I thought, you know, now is better late than never. Um, and it is my 2015 health slash fitness, like, goals or aspirations for this year. Um, I separated my, like, New, Year res New Year's resolutions, um, into just, like, my basic general ones, and then one specifically for health, because just saying that I want to, you know, continue focusing on my VSG journey and everything, I realized that wasn't specific enough for me, and I needed more specific goals for that, so I decided to break them up, and, um, I put my 2015 health ones in my health planner. Um, if any of you guys saw my planner video, you would have um, you would have seen that I bought this specific planner just to keep track of food, fitness, weight, um, my water, my vitamins, all that kind of stuff. Anything health VSG related good is going to be in, planned in this book every single day for this entire year. So um, I decided to put my goals in here as well so I can see them and I just wanted to share them with you um, really quick. So my first goal is to hit my doctor's goal weight for me. He wanted me to be there by my two year follow up and that is absolutely I mean, his goal number weight for me is actually very um, attainable from where I am right now to my to your um, post op, which will be August 28th of this year. So, even though it, his goal weight is like around 40 pounds higher than what I want to get to, my mindset goal weight um, right now for this 2015, I want to get to his goal weight. Um, so that's number one, that's my main focus this year. Um, number two is going to be to exercise a minimum of 10 days per month. It might That might sound like kind of low and not a lot to people, but um, for me, I wanted to give myself something that I know I could do. I know for a fact that you can work out 10 days a month. I mean, even in the shortest month of the year, February, I mean, there's still 28 days, and you can find 10 days out of those 28 to work out. And um, also with that, I mean, obviously, I do plan on working out more than just 10 days a, a, a month, but that gives me something to where I know I can do it. So it's feasible for anybody. So even if you're not a VSG patient or weight loss surgery person or anything like that, you're just someone that maybe wants to add, incorporate fitness into your life, you can do 10 days a month. So that's kind of what that is. Um, number three, I want to get back to tracking my food. Um, so, actually, every single day I have a breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks um, line in my cat and on each daily spread, and um, I write down what I eat. Um, so, I'm thinking of also trying to get back into my fitness pal, but I'm not sure to me it actually, to me it's better if I actually write something out rather than just like type it in or, you know, just scan it in on a app, I, if I actually write it out and see it, it's like, oh, okay. Um, uh, number four will be to drink eight glasses of water a day. I know it's, it seems pretty, you know, obvious to do that, but um, I've had issues with water since day one after surgery. If you've seen any of my past videos, you'll have known this, but um, I could not tolerate water um, for a couple months after surgery, and then once I slowly could start drinking water, it had to be flavored water. Um, even today, sometimes, like, trying to just drink plain water is not, I can maybe have a few sips and I'm okay, but if I try to drink even one cup of water, um, and it's plain, it does not set well. So, it makes me feel sick, and it hurts my stomach, and it just, yeah. So, um, but I do know that I need to increase my water intake, so I'm definitely not getting enough water. So, my minimum is to get eight glasses of water a day, so that's, you know, the 64 ounces, whatever. Um... Then, um, number five is to take all my vitamins every day. Um, being a weight loss surgery patient, um, if any of you guys are or have looked into it or anything, you know vitamins are very important and, um, they are very, um, they're like a staple in your life after you have any type of weight loss surgery. And for me especially, um, iron is like one of my biggest ones, um, probably my biggest one. I started taking iron about... I don't know, four or five weeks after surgery, and I've been taking it every day since then. I take one pill a day, and I actually, I, I really need to do, it, do that, because once I did my blood work, every time I've done my blood work and all that stuff, my iron levels, they've been, you know, they haven't been low, like too low to where they're like, oh no, your iron's bad, but they have always been on the lower side of the acceptable mark, 
and that is with that's still with me taking an iron pill every single day. Um, however, recently I've been um, the past couple months I have not been good with my iron or any of my vitamins actually, and I can definitely tell um, a difference in my body when I'm not taking my vitamins and I get very lethargic, um, no energy. I just feel so like down. I, it's just really weird. So. Um, I have gotten on, you know, since January 1st, I've been really good at taking my vitamins every single day, taking them all, so it's been going good, and I can actually tell my body is starting to, you know, have them, absorb the, absorb them again, so I'm getting better. Um, and then my last two 2015 health and fitness resolutions are to be accountable for everything I do. If it's good, if it's bad, if it's ugly, <laughs> I just have to be accountable for it, and you know, look at what I did, look at how I could have done it better if, if it was bad, look at how, how I could have done it better, and then use it as a stepping stone to move forward, because my last one is to don't, it's to not give up. I mean, I've already invested so much into this, there's no point in me giving up now. Um, so, those are my 2015 health and fitness related resolutions for this year. Um, if any of you guys made any health specific ones, I'd love to hear them. Um, if you have any suggestions um, for me, if you think I should add any, take away any, modify any, whatever you think. Because um, I'm sure these are changed. I mean, these might change throughout the year. Probably not, but um, the exercise one, I might realize I want to increase the minimum of 15 days a month. I don't know. Um, but, yes, yeah, so... Those are my goals. If you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. If you have, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. You know how much I love you guys. If you're not and you want to, uh, just hit the button down below and you'll get notification every time I upload a new video. Um, also, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, critiques, any advice, anything you want to leave me, please put it in the comment section down below, and I promise I will get back to you with that. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys have a great, great rest of your week. Um, I, can you believe we're already in like the third, or this is the second full week of the new year? It is crazy. Okay, so I will see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.